I'm Anil Kumar and here is an application of exponential function. Question is, 96.2 grams of radioactive material is placed in a nuclear reactor. After 8 days, only 35% remains. Determine the half-life of the substance. So we need to find the time when half of it will remain. That is, so you know, the question could be, find time when half of 96.2 remains. You can think like this, okay. Now it says 96.2 96 grams of radioactive material is placed in nuclear reactor. So the initial amount A0 is 96.2. Final amount which we want at time t is half of 96.2. Got it? After 8 days, only 35% remains. Now we are also given that when t equals to 8, at that time, a of 8 is 35% of original. That means 0 0.35 of A0. Do you understand? Of original. Correct? So that is what is given to us. Now with the help of this, what we can do is, we can first find the decay rate and then we can find the half-life of the substance right so let us say r is the rate of decay in that case our equation will be amount left after any instance of time will be r to the power of t correct so that is the basic exponential equation with which we are going to work. Now we will first apply this condition given to us. right? So, so what we are given here is that after 8 years 35% remains. 35% of 96.2. Do you understand? So what remains is 35% means 0 0.35 of 96.2 remains. Original equation A0 is 96.2 r to the power of t. t is 8 for us, right? So at this time t is 8 for us. Now to solve for t, we can divide by 96.2. So we get 0 0.35 times 96.2 divided by 96.2 equals to r to the power of 8. So we get 0 0.35 equals to r to the power of 8. Now we'll take we can actually take the 8th root to get r, right? So that is 0 0.35 to the power of 1 over 8 equals to r, right? So let's use the calculator and find this answer. So 0 0.35 to the power of 1 divided by 8 is equal to how much? So that is equal to 0 0.877. 0, 01 right so we can write 0 0.877 okay 0 2 let's round it that is r so that is the rate r for us so that gives us the equation and now we can write down the equation as okay let's write down the equation now with the value of r as equal to 0 0.87702 so we get our equation as a of t is equals to a0 which is 96.2 for us and the r value is 0 0.877 let's say 77 okay to the power of t okay we'll use this equation basically we are going to use the value of r now now we need to find half life of the substance half life means when will the final amount be half of 96.2 correct so let's rewrite and find the half-life. So we'll do half-life now. That means we are left with 96.2 divided by 2. We started with 96.2 and rate of decay is 0 0.8 let's say 77 to the power of t. So we need to find what that t is. Correct? So we have when you divide by 96.2 so what do you get? You get half is equals to 0 0.877 to the power of t. Taking log, we'll say log of half, which is 0 
equals to t times log of 0 0.877 and from here we can say t equals to log of 0 0.5 divided by log of 0 0.877 so let's calculate the value so we have log of 0 0.5 equals to divided by log of 0.877 so we get t equals to 5.281 okay so half life for us is in this much time the law high law the amount would be half. So half life for us is 5.288 and the number of units is days. So, so we can write down our answer that half life is 5.28 days. So that is how you can actually solve this particular question. I hope with this you understand how we can get the half-life period of any substance. Thank you and all the best.